Hello everyone, I am Crawlers and this is another episode of Ridiculous Loadout. As you may already know, uh, this is a series I started way back when in the Battlefield 3 days, basically whoring myself out for cheap views, running a suggested loadout from one of you in the comments section. So today uh, Johanny Eriksson suggested a loadout called the Powerhouse and the name is pretty apt. It is an M60E4 with a hollow sight and ergo grip, a deagle, a hand cannon and ammo box and some C4. And well you know me, I love me some C4. Now um, this recording this one actually is a single life and uh, not to say that I haven't done it, uh, died any uh, in this uh, recording because I've died a few times and uh, surprisingly I got revived like four or five times in a row and it was you know an amazing display of uh, teamwork here but I suppose uh, it's you know someone finally plays Rush like it was intended. Now, uh, I did a couple of loadouts before with the M60. Uh, it's an insane gun in Battlefield 4 as far as the game goes, but in real life it's uh, pretty much a legend. It's been in service since 1957 uh, in the US Army and in different modifications by pretty much half the world's armies, uh, you know, in the world. It's, uh, it's been tried uh, to be replaced by the saw and uh, most notably M240, but it just refuses to give up. It's yes, it's heavy, it's unwieldy, and it's big as a Buick. But it's you know while other LMGs suffer from uh, birthing issues, like most notably the saw uh, jamming quite a bit, the pig remains uh, you know one of the workhorses because it's got most of its kinks worked out by now in the. Uh, you know, 50 years that it's been in service, and it just keeps on going strong. So, it feeds on a disintegrating belt of ammo, and we'll get to what that means for the game in a second. Its caliber is 7.62mm NATO, which is one of the reasons for the newer LMGs, I suppose, as their uh, 5.56 caliber, and... Uh, it can run on ball armor piercing uh, tracer rounds and unlike uh, last patch in Battlefield 4 where every round seemed to light up the sky in real life it's usually one round tracer for uh, four vanilla rounds I believe and correct me if I'm just talking out of my ass here correct me in the comment section uh, below but what's it like in Battlefield 4? Well, it's a 7.62 caliber gun, so it does buckets and buckets of damage, having the higher damage model of LMGs, which is uh, 33 maximum at 8 meters, which drops off to 21.6 at 65 meters. Uh, now, this means that up close it's going to be a 4-hit uh, kill to the body and a 2-hit kill to the head. and uh, this also means that out to around 48 meters, it's going to uh, remain a 4-hit kill uh, to the body. It goes through its 100-round box of goodies at the rate of 570 rounds per minute, which is actually the lowest rate of fire among all uh, LMGs. Uh, but conversely, this means that I suppose its recoil up is going to be a little bit more manageable. And speaking of, its recoil up is a healthy 0 0.4 degrees per shot. And um, unfortunately, DICE nerfed its per shot multiplier from, I think, 0 0.5 before uh, to 1 now. Uh, this means that before the nerf, the peak was actually uh, an excellent tap fire weapon for, you know, long distance relationships since its uh, first shot recoil was actually less than the follow-up shots and uh, regrettably DICE uh, wants us to use the bipod for that and I mean I can understand where they're coming from since it's uh, not a very widely used accessory but I'm obviously a bit cheesed off that they've done this and as I said it basically removes that uh, tap fire mentality when using the M60. 
it ha it still has phenomenal damage output though. Um, its muzzle velocity is 600 meters a second, which seems to be on the lower side, um, outdone only by the otherwise uh, otherwise god gun, the AWS, which um, has a muzzle velocity of only 580 meters a second. And uh, also, as it's a belt-fed LMG, and as I said before, and not a box-fed LMG, uh, its reload time is a supremely long and... Uh, well, there is no short or tactical reload, so uh, you basically reload all, all or nothing as you need to change out the belt with the entire box, which takes an agonizing 7.8 seconds, so, you know, best to not, to not reload this thing unless you absolutely have to and can find a quiet spot for those nearly 8 seconds where you can, uh, you know, you won't be disturbed. Uh, also, it wouldn't matter uh, if you completely run out of ammo with this thing, because uh, the reload time is going to be the same, you know, whether you are completely dry or have one or more uh, rounds remaining in the box. And now, the iron sight on this thing is, well, at least the front one is huge, and rather unfortunately, it's visible in the optic, which, well, isn't all that realistic, I suppose, or uh, good for the game, because it covers up most of the target, uh, you know, quite a bit, so you can't shoot what, uh, see what you're shooting at, rather. I mean, I like using the hollow sight in these things, in these games, but, man, the front sight is just huge, and it takes up, you know, most of your uh, aiming real estate, I suppose. Uh, another thing I'd love to see modeled in the game is weight or rather mass. Um, the gun is supremely heavy in real life, but in Battlefield 4 you don't really have these uh, limitations. I mean, it'd be fun to see in Battlefield 5 uh, if Battlefield 5 could model this in their, uh, in, in the game, because like many FPS games today, uh, you know, you equip a heavier model uh, weapon or shield or something like that, and your movement speed is slowed down. One of the best examples of later games that does this is uh, Rainbow Six Siege. And, you know, that's that's a pretty fun game. Uh, now, for, for as far as the accessories go for this thing, I'd say use whatever you want, like a heavy barrel or an ergo grip or a bipod if you uh, like to break open a camp and pitch a tent. Uh, and, you know, this thing has the ammo to back it up, uh, back up the use of a guy, uh, bipod, I mean, and unlike smaller magazines of, uh, you know, smaller capacity LMGs, box-fed LMGs, rather. Uh, now, don't use the uh, laser sight on this thing, though, because it's got a heap fire spread that you can drive a dump truck through, so you aren't gonna be fooling anyone with the ra laser pointer, and all it does will give your position away, and I'd also suggest, quite frankly, I wouldn't suggest using the Ergo Grip either, because all it does is buff your, a tiny bit, give you a tiny buff on your movement uh, hip fire spread, so, which is phenomenally big on this gun, as I said, and, you know, you aren't gonna be doing anyone any favors if you're gonna be firing it from the hip. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ridiculous Loadout, and now, because I don't feel like suffering alone, uh, Johanny Eriksson must also uh, run this loadout and upload it to YouTube, and I'll accept the link down below in the comments section. Uh, thanks for watching, please rate and share this video as it helps my channel grow. Check out my other videos at the end of this one, and remember, in Soviet Russia, YouTube subscribes you.